Trash Talk at the Majors is back thanks to my man, Boomich. I love it when players show personality. We're going to get to see that here. But there's a lot of context that went into this Cloud9 versus Saw game. Firstly, though, let's look at the moment in question. A big moment here for Cloud9. They're about to secure their 3-0 and their advancement to the next stage of the Major. And we'll see that clip now. 3-0 oh, oh in Copenhagen, slipping from their hands as we have all of C9 inside of this bomb site. Another late round execute that comes with no announcement, but with conviction nonetheless. And Boomich's AWP has looked ferocious on this second map. Unfortunately for Eros Dos, he did great Ooh. on that T side, but it is undeniably Cloud9 moving on to the elimination stage and not dropping one match on their... And you see at the end there, a little uh, a little trash talk over the side of the wall from Boomich. Absolutely love to see it. And thankfully, we had another angle so that we could actually get the words from the man himself. <laughs> Домой, блядь, португальские дети, блядь! На! Блядь! Домой, блядь, си! It's not French server, guys, you know, it's not online! So in case you missed it, he said, it's not French servers anymore, it's not online. Absolutely love it because this was a rematch where Saw had previously beaten Cloud9 in an online game. And look at Electronic Man. He's loving it too. He is a happy, happy man. Seeing Boomich hyped up. Who couldn't be? It's, it's great to see Boomich in such a good mood. Let's give you all that context though. We'll go back to this. This was Saw beating Cloud9 online and actually knocking them out of the Blast Premier Showdown. And Saw, a team who haven't really been to many top tier events, but it's been really cool seeing their rise lately. 5v2 to drop them and to keep their showdown showing going. Eris Dos constant in the rifle pressure throughout this map and he will finish with a 3k and 23 frags on this scoreboard. You see there, Saw pretty happy, pretty happy with themselves. They're not crazy hyped. It was the quarterfinals, but it's a big win for Saw. They actually made it through to the next stage of Blast. They're a team that haven't really been in those positions too often. So already there's a little bit of blood. There's a little bit of rivalry into this matchup. And in this game itself, Boomich was actually playing incredibly. I mean, firstly, he was getting clips on the AWP, which is not something we are used to seeing from Boomich back in his heyday, but he's been AWPing a fair bit now on Cloud9, and here is one of those AWP clips. possible now. They know CT is going to be difficult. That was a good setup here. We saw Aristos get his kill, no sweat whatsoever, one clean haircut onto Axel, and he was out of there into everything going wrong as Boomich decided to light up the server with his individual efforts on this AWP once again. There it is. Boom. Big from Boomich. And honestly, quite a nice clip with the AWP. Now, I'm not going to lie. Boomich doesn't really even believe in himself to be a uh, consistent AWPer. You see here, Boomich, I don't think I can be stable as the AWPer. But hey, he had a great map here. It's great to see Boomich playing well on that AWP. Great redemption arc from him uh, after he's come back onto this Cloud9 team. And it wasn't even only that he was playing well on the AWP. He was also playing really well as the in-game leader of this team. And he was just in his bag on this T side to close it out, okay? It's 9-9, a close, intense map to decide who's going through to the next stage of the major, who's going straight through with no drama, no stress, and Boomich steps up. I mean, first in this round, he's going to get the opener. Very nice. And then from here, he's going to go ahead and make a great call. Over to this A site, he... Figures it's clear, Saw are trying to be active elsewhere, and he gets the timing right. Now listen, Arados made that way too close, but still, 3v2, you're going to be closing this one out. Great call from Boomich to find the empty bomb site. From here, into the very next round, again, Boomich makes a great call. Good kill from Axile on A, putting a bit of pressure. Hobbit does well there to keep that B pressure as well. So Saw are still in two minds. And again, from the four on three, Boomich ends up making the right call. Saw stacked the wrong site, and Boomich finds a wide open A bomb site, and that is another free round. Into the next one, again, Boomich still in his bag. This time he calls for a lot of early A pressure, but look at the timing on this mid lurk. 
just as Story there turned away from mid because of this A pressure, these two mid players start lurking. This is absolutely beautiful. He is just winning rounds literally based solely off the calls. Saw are getting played like fiddles right now, and they would tell you that themselves. They haven't even been able to fight for these rounds. And then in the final round, to put the cherry on the cake, Saw have been getting abused on that A site. Low time left. Boomich gets the first AWP kill. And guess what? Low time on the clock. Saw figure. Listen, this might be our last chance to actually defend that A site. You look at that mini-map, they rotate away from B. And boom, it is donezo. Boomich not only went 22 for 8 on the AWP, but also called a fantastic T side, literally winning his team's rounds without them having to get kills in a lot of them. Beautifully done, and that led to that winning moment and him you know, talking a bit of trash, which we love to see, you know, because they, they beat them online, Saw. But when it came to LAN, Boomich said, you know what? This is where the real players show up. Now, I tried to get this translated. By the way, if you guys think AI is taking over, okay, this automatic translator thing. Show me what you do. I'm screaming. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> I mean, apparently, Boomich, for some reason, sounds very uh, emotionless as he's saying these words. Nice. Over it. Fucking Portuguese kids. Ah! Oh, fuck. So, you know, you get the fucking Portuguese kids in there, and then you obviously get the moment where he says, it's not online anymore, it's not the French servers. I think this is all in good fun. A bit of back and forth. I think it's great when players show their personality. We, we want to see more of that. I think it makes us care about the games more. And if someone's being authentic, and, and that's a big win for them and a big moment for them, why not have this shine through? Now, Boomich... Bless him. I love this tweet. Straight afterwards, why haters so mad, lols. Does not give a damn. Oh, I've just realized I'm fully covering that up with my face. Get out of the way, Hawker. Get out of the way. There we go. Why haters so mad, lols. And then, obviously, afterwards, he starts getting a bit of a bit of hate for some reason. Because fans are fans. And, you know, they, they take everything a little too far. Take everything a little too serious. So he has to tweet, crazy fans appeal to you. If you think I do not respect the Saw team, you are mistaken. All the shouts after the match are just emotions and revenge for the Blast tournament. Saw is a decent team, and I was happy for them when they passed the Major because they deserve it. And that's the sad thing about all this. Saw have a really fun storyline. They never made a Major in CSGO. They've come into this Major. They're doing well. It looks like there's a decent chance they'll qualify. By the way, I've just realized I don't follow Boomich. Give him the follow. He deserves it. He deserves it. But yeah, a really, a really respectful tweet. And even some of the Saw fans, I think, were actually pretty good about this. They said, you know, jokingly, oh, Boomich is still mad. Saw knocked them out from Blast, rent-free. This is a bit of banter back. But even this guy had to say in a reply to his own tweet, please stop insulting, insulting Boomich in the comments. It's not that deep. It's banter. It makes the game more fun. See, this guy gets it. This is what the fans should be like. This is what I want. The UK, we have a nice banter culture. We all know it's jokes at the end of the day. Sometimes people just seem to go too personal for no reason. And that's the sad thing because I think both these teams are really likable with their stories. Saw making their first major, you know, a national team that they're doing a really good job. They've been grinding so hard to get to this point. And then Boomich, think about what this guy went through, okay? Look at all this success he had 2021 on this Na'Vi team. He was part of a legendary lineup. And then I'm not going to get too much into the personal stuff. I don't think it's that relevant. But we obviously do know, it says down here, he got married in 2021 and then divorced in June 2022. And that literally coincides with when he was, you know, an active onto the Na'Vi lineup. I think it did have some part to play. And this must have been a really hard time in this guy's life. Seriously, think about that. You've just had all this success. You're coming off the high of being on a, an incredible Na'Vi team who have won so many tournaments. And suddenly everything just, you know, falls apart for you. You, you, you lose your marriage, you lose your team, you're inactive for months. This must have been really rough for this guy. I, I seriously feel for him in this time period. And I'm so glad he was able to come back on one win and grind his way back up onto a top Cloud9 team. And now he's doing well with them. Now listen, you can say Cloud9's true test will come when we get into the later stage of the major. But I think for this one day, he deserves the right to talk a bit of trash, to enjoy himself, to have fun. 
right? I think he deserves that. I think he has that right. I'm not going to show any of the hate tweets, but I, I just think maybe sometimes we should step back and say, look, it's a game, it's fun, and it's fun to have these little fun storylines and, and trash talk back and forth. And I hope Boomich can get back to the top. And I want to leave you with a, a bit of context from F1. So Hamilton, at one point, called Max Verstappen a dickhead. Also, watch Vettel's reaction here. This is the main bit. <laughs> covering the face, pretending he's not laughing. And then I think Vettel came out and pretty much put this if if perfectly. Are... So the interviewer comes in and basically asks the question of, um, you, you, you call Verstappen a dickhead. Do you want to comment on that to Hamilton? And, and Vettel is someone I love, and he shows true class here in coming in and basically making sure Lewis doesn't have to answer oh, Correct. This. You used the word dickhead after the race concerning Max Verstappen and the overtake and the context. Is that correct? Can I, can I answer that question? Yeah. I think it's, it's not fair. You know, sometimes, I don't know what Lewis did. I'm sure he didn't, uh, you know. I, I, you know, we've all been in that situation. We fight someone and we, you know, we go sometimes wheel to wheel and it's close and, you know, you have a lot of adrenaline going. Do you r think comparing to football, if you have a microphone on a football's mouth, football player's mouth, that everything he says is something nice and is a nice message when the guy tackles him and... Maybe sometimes he fouls him or not. So I don't think it's justified to give us this kind of questions and making up a story out of nothing. If we're just racing and we're full of adrenaline and sometimes, you know, we say these things. I mean, if I hit you in your face, you're not going to tell me, oh, Sebastian, that wasn't nice. You know, it's a human reaction. And sometimes I feel it's all a bit blown up and artificial if we have these questions trying to make a story out of nothing. So it's not personal. Don't take it personal. But I think we should just cut it. We should just cut it and move on. And I think that's the perfect way to put it. Listen, these are uh, emotional games. Like, these, these teams and players care a lot about what they're doing, and they're going to have these reactions. I think Vettel put it so well there. If you put a lot into something, you're going to care about the outcome, you're going to care about the reactions, and you're going to show that in how you act. And I think it's really telling that these players care so much about this tournament that we're seeing these reactions. And, you know, if, if you'd have asked Boomich logically, should you have said these words? He would say, well, obviously not. But he's riding the high of that moment. He's riding the high of that comeback. And it, it shows that he cares about this. And I think it's always nice when the players show how much they care about the game. And obviously there are lines that need to be drawn. But for me, this doesn't even come close to crossing it. And I'm sure if Saw get this rematch, which they could get, by the way, because Saw are playing well, I think they'll go through. If Saw rematch Cloud9 in a later stage, they can talk some shit back too. Oh, you know, it's it's the later stage of the major now and you guys can't handle it. So I hope that we are all on the same page. My man Boomich, keep, keep being you, man. Keep being you. I love it when players are authentic and real like that. And I hope we get more of it as the major goes on.